Okay, Bridget, this is my machine here. It's basically designed to over, uh, do injection molding or over molding. In this case, I'm over molding this connector, uh, which has six pins in it. Gets over molded. And uh, <clears throat> here's the mold that fits with the machine. It, it actually goes inside here with the top on it, like this. Fits in here like this. And then gets over molded. For, Closer. I'll show you it works. So basically, it, what I have is I have four motors. This front motor controls a toggle right here, which moves this this head for locks the mold in place. And then there's a, here's the barrel, and inside this barrel is a screw. Um, there's a pellet that melts down, and then this this back motor drives the screw here. This one I had problems with mostly. It drives a screw which pushes the pellets into the barrel here as it heats them. And then they, these two motors right here control the, the forward motion of the screw here. So there's two uh, ball screws, rotary ball screws that drive the screw backwards and forwards. And that's how it works. So when I have a controller, I'm using a PSOC 5 to control it. And so when I turn it on, I, then I home the system. So it homes it. And then this one does the same thing, it homes it. And that sets the preset locations for the mold, which I set in code. And then this one's this one goes back to its set point. And then if you look right here when I I load the material, so I'll run this screw right here. So it loads the material. You'll see here in a second. <clears throat> It'll load the material in front of the barrel. It's starting to load it now. See it come out? So it's, it's turning the screw. And then when I go down here and I put it into ejection mode, it'll actually inject the part. That's how it works. So that, this material right here would actually get injected into my part to. Uh, create my my um, old mold so that's what machine does anyway hope that helps